is going to be big enough. I mean, look at the size of the mastodon's molar. It's enormous. It's huge. One of my many doctorates is in paleontology, but... I hear what you're saying, Earl, uh, but we're not really going to be <gasps> actually... Oh, hey, look, they're here. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the final episode of Bite Size Science. Hey, Ash, tell the people what we're going to do today. They need to be sure to get all their mastodons and mammoths and elephants ready because... <laughs> Earl and I are really excited because we are going to be making elephant toothpaste. But Earl, I... <gasps> I gotta go get trying... ready. All right, for this activity, we're going to make sure that you want to have some eye protection on. So you can register to get a free bite-sized science kit and get your own goggles. This is also a messy activity, so you want to maybe have a tub or a tray to keep things clean. Ask your favorite grown-up to help you set up your space. For this activity, you'll need an empty plastic bottle, dry yeast, you can find it in the baking section of your grocery store. Warm water, liquid dish soap, 3% hydrogen peroxide, measuring cups, measuring spoons, eye protection, a large tub or tray to catch foam, and liquid food coloring. I'll use the beaker to measure out some hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to distribute this between three containers. I'm putting different amounts in each container. How do you think that's going to impact our reaction? I'm just going to add a little more hydrogen peroxide here. And then we'll add a big squirt of dish soap to each container and just kind of gently swirl to get it to mix in. You don't want to make a ton of bubbles yet, so just give it a little, a little swirl. And I would like to add some food coloring so you can take your food coloring and just sort of let it trickle down the sides of your containers and last thing I want to do is put a tablespoon of yeast in my cup and add some warm water measure it into the cup and then we're going to add some warm water to it not hot and then we'll mix it around it's going to take a little bit of stirring, maybe about 30 seconds worth of stirring to make sure that all your yeast has dissolved in the water. And uh, you need the water to be warm so that you can kind of wake up your yeast or activate it. And as soon as all my yeast is dissolved, I'm going to pour it into the containers. So I want you to predict which of these containers do you think the reaction will last the longest? Which one do you think will last the shortest? Okay, we are ready to add our yeast and water solution to our mixture. Let's see what is going to happen. Oh yeah, look at that. We're really getting a good reaction here. And look at all that foam coming up. Gonna add just a little bit more of our yeast water mixture. See if we can make more foam. Let's take a closer look at the science. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water over time, but we can speed that up by adding a catalyst. That's the science word for a substance that kicks off a chemical reaction. Yeast contains a special chemical that helps speed up the reaction. So when we mix the yeast and hydrogen peroxide, the hydrogen peroxide broke down super fast into water and oxygen gas. That's what formed all those bubbles. Whoa! That was amazing, Ash! <laughs> Look at you, Earl! Adding the dish soap trapped the bubbles and created all that foam. Make sure you stay away from the foam. That's right! This foam isn't safe for people. 
I can't wait to share this with my colleague Bunsen Burner. He's working on cloning the mammoth right now. Cloning a mammoth? <gasps> See you next time for Bite Size Science. Now that I've got your attention, and before you go, if you haven't got your free science, there go my goggles. If you haven't got your free science kit yet, go to scienceworksmuseum.org and register. Or just follow the link in the description below. Thanks for following along with all of our activities. We'll miss you, fellow scientists. Have fun and stay curious. I'm going to go find my goggles.